Good morning, you guys. This is Casey. I hope you are doing well. I want to apologize in advance. Um, I got a new kitten, and I think I'm allergic to her, and I may cough or sneeze <laughs> during this video. Uh, I just took some medicine, um, and so it has not fully kicked in yet, so I want to apologize in advance, but I am not sick. No need to worry. All is well. I want to go through, I want to take a look at GBP AUD, and I want to do a top-down analysis with you all. <clears throat> what I'm doing is I'm starting off on the monthly chart, and I am going through and I'm finding my high probability areas where price has a potential to reverse. If you're not familiar with what a top-down analysis is, um, it is basically a process through which we go through to look at and identify our areas of support and resistance on each time frame. And so we identify those areas because it is likely that we could see a potential reversal. And that's how we make money in the market when we're able to capitalize on the moves um, in the market and get in and take advantage of uh, what they have to offer. And so I am going to go down to my weekly, actually, let me see. We have a different high. I can't mark this off as a high yet. Actually, one, two, us the monthly. It's November. Oh, I can mark this off as a high. So when the market opens, <clears throat> this will be the new high. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to think about it. Y'all, this year is flying by. Like, it was just like, shoot. December last year now it's December almost this year like time is just moving and it waits for nobody at all um okay so I've done the monthly I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get into the weekly and I'm gonna do the same thing again and uh I'm looking for swing high swing lows if you do not know what those are I definitely encourage you to go to the no cost mini course <clears throat> it'll have some terminology in there um, that probably will help you better understand how I'm moving through the charts and what I'm doing. Um, yeah. Okay. So I believe that I've gotten all my areas on this time frame. So I'm going to go down to the daily and I'm going to do the same thing again. Now, what I do need y'all to tell me though, um, I am trying to make a decision if I'm going to keep doing these kind of videos or if I'm not. And looking at the data, what I see is y'all don't really like these. Um, they don't get as many views as some of the other videos that I do. <clears throat> and so I'm curious um, if this information is beneficial to you guys. And so what I'd like you to do is let me know in the comments what you want to see. Um, so I know where to put my effort and my energy because uh, I don't want to keep making videos like this and y'all don't watch them. You know, um, I want to make content that makes sense for you all as well and I don't want to just be making stuff to make stuff and y'all don't y'all don't want it you know so let me know in the comments if this information is beneficial to you if you find it useful um and whatnot okay so I'm just going through finalizing the last lows that I do see I don't think that's a law that's not uh that's not this is okay i'm gonna double check make sure i selected the right ones to see i even got ones that's past past the 10 that's allowed i just don't got into the habit <laughs> so let me delete this okay so i have a plan that gives me 10 um most people have uh one i think it's like five and that's more than enough to start um i think that's absolutely more than enough to start so we're on the four hour now I am going to mark my four hour color and mark out my four hour levels. And then what we'll go through and do is we will look at, um, we'll look at the fit. Okay. <clears throat> I think I'm good for now. I've identified those. So I'm going to go to my fit now and I'm going to see what I see going on. And I'm going to start off on the higher time frame. Uh, and since 22, fall of 22, price has been moving to the upside. 
So I'm going to take my fib and I am going to go to the last low and look and see where we are. So this is currently an active fib moving to the upside. We did get a 38.2 pullback. And so theoretically, the target is <clears throat> at 2.1, let's call it 6, right? So I'm going to turn this green, mark it off so that I know that on the highest time frame that we look at, this still is moving to the upside, okay? So I am going to delete. I'm going to go down to the next time frame, which is the weekly. <clears throat> and I'm going to put my fib up. And, oh, uh, same thing. So this is still moving to the upside. But you see, we got strong rejection at that monthly level. Strong rejection. What was this, back in July? And now we've broken through that monthly level, gone back up, retest that daily level, and getting strong rejection off that that uh, that daily resistance level too. So what I want to see, uh -oh, what I want to see is um, what we doing to the downside because it looks like like that's where price is trying to push. So I'm gonna go down to the daily, and yeah, look at that. Ooh. Look at that. I'm going to take my fib and I'm going to click above the last high. This is an active fib. So let me see this from the weekly. <clears throat> yeah. So on the weekly, and the reason, let me show you why I went, went to the weekly. So this was the fib, right? And if you don't know about the fib, I, again, I recommend that you go to the no cost mini course so you can kind of keep up with what we're talking about and what I'm doing. But um, this is still an active fib to the downside. Theoretically, everything inside of A and B with price pulls back to one of these red levels. Theoretically, you take profit at the red level. Price pulls back to the blue level. Theoretically, you take profit at the blue level. So what I saw was price had hit over here, 1998. 18 excuse me 198832 price it hit it but we already had price hit the blue level so automatically i knew let me go back up one more level because the play is probably on the higher time frame and in fact it is so we had an a high a b low we had a pull back to 198752 so theoretically if we get this high to four you'll take profit is going to be at 190. Oh, now that is below the weekly level. So we would have to break that weekly level. But I could see like a potential spike down and then the push to the upside. So I'm interested in moves to the downside on GPP odd right now. So I'm going to look for potential entries to the downside. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I am going to set my chart up. I'm going to go down to the four because I already looked at the daily. I'm going to set my chart up so that I can enter into a sale position. So uh, what I'm going to do, I want to see where my fib. Okay, we had A high, B low. We pull back to almost 618. And this is still active. So this sequence has not finished yet. So we got to finish at 195. That's like 200 pips away. Let me see. And you see, 175. Okay. You see that on a shorter time frame, like we've already broken the trend line. So if I start from the lowest of this, this leg and I deploy my fib, um, we see that we've broken this level. Price is coming back testing this level. Right? We done broke it. Price is coming back testing this zone. This to me, is a level of entry for a sale. And I'm gonna go I'm gonna drill down in order to see um exactly where to get in. But the fact that we broke this trend line and price is now testing and rejecting off of the back of the trend line in the zone, this to me lets me know that this area is a good potential area for a sale. So I'm gonna keep drilling down. That's the four hour. I'm going to get rid of this fib on the four. I'm going to go down to the one.
And what I want to see to the upside is if we are at a target yet. So we hit the D extension here. So we could see, what well, we could see is price push on up. Maybe a little bit past the zone. And then we could see price fall, continue to fall. Now the overall downside target on the higher time frame is down to what we talked about, 190.722. Now, I would play it safe though, and I would only trade to the weekly level just in case we get a reaction off that weekly level. Uh, but my bias on um, GBP AUD is to the downside. The immediate move, I think, is a sale. Um, I would wait. You could either do this as a stop. So, meaning, and looking at this, I don't know that we're going to push up. Price is probably overbought. Um, and I'm looking at the zone. So, I'm looking at um, levels of support and resistance. So, right here, price was a level of support, level of support, level of support. And now we're back testing this area as a level of resistance. So honestly, I think anywhere in this 974.97 zone is a good area to sell um, and carry it to the downside. So those are my thoughts on uh, GBPR. I am curious what you think. Uh, we, Like I said, we may see price push up. Um, we may see price push up a little bit before we start to see a move to the downside, but that's my bias. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And then also, if y'all are still looking for these types of videos, I need you to let me know that this is what you want. Otherwise, I think I have to start creating something a little bit different. So anyway, I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope that you have a great and profitable week. I wish you many, many pips and I will see you on the next video. Have a